Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today on Beyond Local, episode 25. Today's episode is about link building. My name's Jeff Kimmel. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing here at LSEO. And we're going to flip the switch a little bit, make it crazy, and we're going to interview a man who needs no introduction, Chris Jones, our founder and CEO. Welcome, Chris. Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate being here. Thanks for taking the time. I know it's you know a little out of your schedule you know, to come down here and be on the other side of the table. But in truth, when you guys approached me with this idea, this is a topic that I've been passionate about for over 20 years. Uh, and I can't wait to dive in. And by the way, I, I one of the things I love most about you and the executive team at LSEO um, is that stuff we do outside of work, the friendship we're building. And I think that you guys, I, I don't even know what's in store here. I hope you don't like pull a rabbit out of your hat or something, but let's go ahead and dive in. Well, let's start with some softballs. Okay. We'll okay. get you, we'll get you into it a little bit. So, That's good. you know, what is link building? Why is it important? Let's start there. So, um, you know what? I, I think to really understand the importance of it, you got to go back and, and nerd out a little bit. Um, for, Folks that don't know, you know, I, I was a sort of a professional academic. You know, I went to, after high school, I went to school for nine years, undergraduate, graduate school, then law school. Um, when I was at graduate school at Villanova, uh, my roommate, Christian Mickle, um, who was there for law school, uh, was wearing a shirt and it said, G-O-O-G-L-E, Google. And I said, what is that? And he told me that there were these two wizards at Stanford University, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, who were doing their doctoral dissertation on building a better search engine. At that time, I was not a search engine marketing expert, but I became somewhat obsessed with how search engines worked and how particularly Google was thinking about it. They took and explained in their doctoral dissertation the concept of works cited. In academia, for those that are watching, I mean, you know, let's go back to college or go back to high school if you never went to college and think about when you did that research paper. It needed to be authoritative, right? It needed to be based on authority. You needed to use other people who were seen as experts and then cite them at the end of your paper. Larry and Sergey said, what if we could measure authority online in this new burgeoning world of the internet. And so they came up with an algorithm that initially was named after Larry Page called PageRank that measures authority by calculating the qual quality and the quantity of links. And we'll get into, I'm sure, uh, some more advanced ideas here. But at the end of the day, link building is about uh, measuring authority. Google wants to show its users the most relevant results possible, right? When someone goes to Google and types in a keyword, um, you know, at the end of the day, their search engine is going to be used by more, uh, by more uh, users if it shows the most re relevant results. So to, to this day, authority, the measure of authority, of course it's become more sophisticated than it was back in the late 90s when I was at Villanova studying at graduate school, uh, but it's still based on the same premise, a measure of links. So, um, you know, that's what inspired me really to study search engines. I would go on, who would think, to write one of the seminal books on search engine optimization and link building called uh, Search Engine Optimization, Your Visual Blueprint uh, to effective internet marketing. I wrote that for Wiley Publishing in 2008. It was republished uh, for a second edition in 2010, and then a third edition in 2013. It has sold over 100,000 copies. So this is a topic that I'm incredibly passionate about. Link building is a primary. It is a number one tactic for ranking your website higher on search engines. And let's dive in a little bit more. Sure. I mean, you gave us a little bit of insight on where you gained your knowledge and experience. We talked about how you're an author, best-selling author. Of course, you have your own TV show. Sometimes you host a podcast, um, you know, so you have that going on. You also spoke at a pretty big event. I think it was, was it Comic-Con? <laughs> um, let me put it this way. Uh, here, here we go. I told you he was going to pull some rabbits out of his hat. That is not a conference that I spoke at. I have spoken at a lot of them uh, on this very topic. But Comic-Con, when I go to Comic-Con, I 
or should we tell them I dress up as spider? No, go ahead. No, <laughs> no, but it was Yost Khan, right? It was where you had, uh, and there's a there's a very good uh, video that we have on our YouTube site. If you want to talk a little bit about your experience with that, presenting that, and that gives a little bit more insight of your your expertise in in the link yep. building industry. Exactly. So it was ironically, if I could tr play with words here, it was probably one of the most authoritative keynotes and um and posts that i've ever made on the topic of advanced link building so um i was a keynote at YoastCon a year or two ago um in uh the netherlands uh so it was in holland actually uh, uh overseas and um yeah they gave me the stage to talk about 15 to 18 tactics that could be used um at, at both the introductory level so you just you know build a website and what are some link building tactics all the way to really what I specialize in. One of the things LSEO specializes in is helping big companies scale their SEO through link building. And so um, what that turned into was uh, after the keynote was a video, as you put it, is on the uh, LSEO YouTube channel as well as on the Yoast channel. And I also wrote a a blog post. Um, so if folks go to Google and type in advanced link building, I think it ranks number one or number two for that topic. And they should read that. It goes into uh, great detail about those tactics that I was referring to. And so, um, yeah, I would say in terms of my thought leadership on link building, that that is probably one of the most authoritative uh, posts that I've, I've ever made. And by the way, um, you know, one of the amazing things about being an SEO uh, and other SEOs that are watching this could connect is that we we tend to have events and conferences in great locations. I mean, so to be clear, I stayed in Amsterdam nice. <laughs> <laughs> because Holland is only about 45 minutes or so away. Uh, stayed in a gorgeous hotel on the river there. It was, it was unbelievable. I've been to Amsterdam a bunch of times. I've actually, uh, Joost and I go back to the beginning of our careers. Uh, he and I have been very close friends for, I don't know, 12, 13, 14, 15 years. And so he, um, I've gotten us to watch his career really grow and flourish. Yeah, I mean, and the video, extremely educational. So if they get a chance, watch it. I mean, it really helps you out a lot in learning more about link building and the advanced techniques. Um, and we are also one of eight partners for Yoast. Yep, you know, that's so. true. We're, we're a preferred partner and we have been for years. We don't pay for that slot. Uh, we were selected because the Yoast team uh, independently sees uh, LSEO as one of the top agencies in the United States for not only link building, but for helping uh, any business who either depends on the Yoast plugin or otherwise. Okay, great. So enough softballs. Let's get into some tough questions now. Um, so, and I think I could tell the answer by your passion and how we started this whole conversation, but it's a very common question out there on the internet now. Is link building dead? I've been on this, uh, this panel at uh, a couple of conferences. Absolutely not. Um, in fact, I would go as far as saying, you know, I referenced earlier that Google has gotten smarter. You know, um, and what I mean by that is when we think about, say, the top three ranking factors uh, more globally for SEO, uh, I still put authority, the measure of authority at number one, two, content. Content, the, the two are sort of like Laverne and Shirley. They're, they're, they're connected. That's an old joke for people who are my age. More recently, <laughs> I don't know, name two. Oh, the sister, there's uh, two Instagram sisters that are super popular. Um, but number one, links, authority. Two, um, by the way, it goes beyond links. Uh, two, content. And three, machine learning, you know, AI. So Google has gotten increasingly intelligent with how they understand relevance and, um, and authority. And so, uh, you know, it, it's, you know, it, it's something I guess we could dive more into how I think about it. But at the end of the day, it is not dead. I mean, in fact, it is as important as ever, but uh, the way we go about it needs to be more sophisticated. There's a ton more accountability in the tactical approach that we use to link building. Um, and I think that at the end of the day, one of the reasons why LSEO is having so much success being able to, to deliver link building services is because you know, think about it this way. 
um, in the early days of the, of the web, it was fairly easy to manipulate search results. Now it's extraordinarily difficult, right? And the reason why LSEO has been having so much success is partly because of my expertise as well as that of yours and other experts on the team that have been able to kind of reverse engineer and think through really what Google is looking for and how today they're measuring authority and how we could use that to, to help our clients. Great, thank you. It's good for so it's not dead. No, I, yeah. I got that. Yeah, <laughs> I fixed that. Up. Right. right. You mentioned uh, some of the techniques, and I think that's pretty good foreshadowing into my next question. Uh, another common um, thing that's out there on the internet about link building, specifically, is black hat versus white hat. Can you explain the difference um, on what those are and how they relate to link building? I mean, black hat. Uh, is the stuff that, you know, the tactics that you should avoid where White Hat um, is probably somewhere in the middle to the clear tactics that work. Uh, a, a great example of White Hat link building is building amazing content. So building content that is just better than the other content out there that is ranking for the keyword that you want to rank for. And so uh, virtually all of the link building that we do here at LSEO is content driven. I mean, I could even say it's it's 100% content driven. We use some strategies uh, around uh, PR and reverse engineering PR. Um, can't spill too much beans, but we do some of that. But almost everything we do here is based on content. Now let's look at Black Hat. Black Hat is about short-term thinking. It's about how you think you could convince Google or that maybe you'll be an exception to the rule by going and buying tons and tons of links um, that, again, because of that third ranking factor, the AI, the machine learning, Google is able to see things that are, are abnormal. Um, so uh, anything that would be considered abnormal or too aggressive, I would, I would bucket into the don't do it, it's not worth it category. Um, and I mean, I, I, think, I think those, those two sort of diametrically op uh, opposed approaches to link building is how I think about it. And so um, I know we're gonna. I know you're gonna. You're gonna attempt to get me to share uh, with our our, our uh, viewers and listeners today uh, the primary tactic LSEO uses. And I can't wait for you to ask me that because I will divulge. Um, but I will tell you that it's it's strategic, it's tactical, it's timely, and it takes into consideration the evolution of Google's algorithm and ultimately how they we believe are thinking about. Uh, relevance. Now, Black Hat, that, that would hurt. What If you started um, um, divulging into Black Hat link building, that's going to ultimately hurt you. It might uh, give you a pop in the beginning, yeah. is that right? And then down the line, Google is going to figure it out and ultimately it's going to hurt your rankings. I think that's exactly right. Um, there, there's, there's, there's no doubt in my mind. I would never recommend it. Um, SEO is about the long game. Uh, I will say, though, that, you know, uh, LSEO uh, has kind of figured out a strategy, an approach that we take at the agency level that delivers results in typically 60 to 90 days, which, which is kind of crazy because a, 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 across the course of my career, um, I would never say something like that. It's usually I would say, hold on, you know, don't have crazy expectations coming in. It's about the long game. We're talking six months, 12 months, 18 months. Um, but so I would say that anyone who's thinking about being overly aggressive and has short-term expectations, 60 days or less, 30 days or less, is likely going to enable their SEO, internal SEO, or their SEO agency partner uh, to break the rules. And inevitably, uh, it, it's, it, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. If you do it right, one of the things that I say, you know, I'm a big personal professional development guy. So I like to use life hacks in, in, in my professional life. Um, if you really want to win the race, figure out how to build muscle and gain momentum consistently over time. You guys have heard me say that. I, I say it, I try to apply it to as many things in my life as possible. It's the opposite of short-term thinking. How do I build strength, muscle, stamina, 
energy, endurance, web authority consistently over time. I've been doing that for 20 years and you know the track record speaks for itself. It's what we do at LSEO for our clients. It's kind of the like the leadership lesson we were talking about, zealous versus overzealous, but we won't go into that. Yeah, that was what, yesterday story. or the day before, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll have a different podcast for that one. Yeah. Um, um, back to link building now. So how about quantity versus quality? Can you explain that to me? Uh, you know, it's it's cool. That's a great question. It's, it's a question that uh, continues to be um, relevant. I think that um, it's a blend of the two. Uh, and I'm just being honest. You know, uh, I, I know that the right answer, if there is an objective right answer, is clear. Quality is more important than quantity. But I'm going to revise that for my SEO friends that might be watching this. <laughs> Go into the comments and let's 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 uh, debate it. But I actually think it's a combination of the two. You, you've got to figure out. Uh, actually, here's one of the things: when we think about the local SEO algorithm, um, one of the primary concepts is velocity. So if we look at reviews, when we're trying to help local businesses compete and just, you know, leapfrog the competition, we help them as a priority set up a system to, to basically automate the collection and the publication of reviews. So in that case, quantity matters. Yes, quality matters or what they call sentiment, right? Positive is better than negative matters. You know what matters? Arguably more? Velocity. Velocity, the definition of velocity would be um, really momentum. You know, how consistently can you deliver reviews a significant amount with high quality over time? And so my answer to you on what matters more or how I think about it is it's both, but velocity matters. So if, if that, it's, it's one of the things I actually see um, with large well-financed, like venture-backed businesses, we'll take on a new client and we'll say, what happened in November of 2019? And they'll be like, well, our CEO did a, a, a bunch of PR. And you'll see them go up, spike in organic traffic, and then come down over time. And it was because what? They lacked velocity in their acquisition of links. Okay. Well, thank you. That was very helpful. So I think we got time for one more. <clears throat> you know a lot of, excuse me, top growth hackers in the industry from Disney to PayPal, Expedia, and you've gained a lot of experience from them. And you've put together, you kind of alluded to it earlier, uh, about some of the strategies we use here at LSEO, especially around link building. Um, I won't even name it. I'll let you talk about it uh, because uh, I think it's an excellent strategy. But why don't you elaborate a little bit more on that strategy? All right. So you're right. Um, for uh, almost 10 years, I've gone to Munich, Germany for a invitation only conference called SEO Oktoberfest. Uh, you referenced some of the, the folks, you know, head of growth at Facebook and, and Disney, et cetera. Uh, and these are these are folks that I've learned from. And it's been uh, an extraordinary opportunity for me to educate myself on how to think about how companies like that uh, do SEO. So uh, that and one other thing I'll reference is that for three years, you know, I was the chairman of Internet Marketing Ninjas. Uh, my dear friend, someone who I admire and love, uh, Jim Boykin is the CEO over there. And Jim asked me if I would come on as his chairman um, and help him, uh, you know, accomplish several things. And I learned a ton about link building uh, from, from Jim's excellent work at Internet Marketing Ninjas. So the strategy that we use here at LSEO um, that I'm willing to divulge here uh, in this uh, special uh, reverse, role reversal uh, is what I call my money term strategy. So if we think about the evolution of measuring authority, uh, a lot of people use DA, domain authority, which is a, uh, a measure of authority as devised by Moz, SEO Moz out of Seattle, um, uh, to give SEOs and webmasters sort of an estimate of their authority. Uh, what was happening with DA was that it was being used and abused um, and it was candidly easily manipulated, right? When we get back to the quantity and quality argument, you could have a ton of links pointing into your site. Uh, Maz's DA would tell you of high DA, 
Um, and uh, it wasn't always the case that that correlated at all with how much traffic you got, particularly if you got all of those links in a way that was black hat. So uh, about two years ago, two and a half years ago, uh, LSEO has been doing, uh, we're the agency of record for a public, a large publicly traded company. Um, and they were challenging us to think through page level analysis. And so my money term strategy first isn't about domain authority, it's about page authority. And it's about building links into pages where you already rank or rank within striking distance of Google's first page. Let's just call it positions 11 through 30. So we, we help you identify those rankings. And those rankings, by the way, position 13, 14, you could stay there forever if you don't develop a page level strategy. So we go in, we look at the page that's currently ranking. And by the way, we're doing this right now as we tape this. Um, I don't want to disclose the client's name, but for one of the most recognizable brands in the Disney portfolio, just to put it into perspective. Uh, not Disney, but one of the brands that they own under that. We identified keywords that they ranked for over the last candidly year, two, three years. It's our opinion they should rank on the first page. So we're helping them optimize at the on-site level. And then we're building links into that specific page to, um, with the goal of, you know, within 90 days or so, moving those keywords onto the front page. Now, uh, we don't have enough time to talk about all the ways that we do this, but I will tell you that what we're looking for, this is a dynamic process. So if you think about this idea of doing something consistently over time, we're identifying a set of keywords that are within striking distance right now for the client. And as we move those up to the front page, what do we do? We change our strategy. We're not as aggressive, you know, we're supportive. And then we introduce new keywords that have either come into striking distance or that were in striking distance that we put aside until we demonstrated performance. And so what we're finding is that this sort of page level link building strategy using a combination of on-site SEO and off-site SEO is delivering extraordinary performance-based SEO for our clients. And in fact, for anybody that's watching, um, you know, this is, this is something that LSEO does extraordinarily well. You know, our vice president of, of, uh, of search, Kyle Cozy has, has really led an effort over these last couple of years to put together the, the organizational structure that allows us to do this at scale for mm -hmm. our clients. Excellent. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I mean, that's a lot of good information. And I think we could probably continue on and on and on. But uh, this podcast would be a lot longer. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. I think I, mean, I feel like we've been talking for two minutes. I know. I know it was. But <laughs> hopefully it was very educational to those. Hope so. Um, who, who have joined us today. Like I said, we could go on for much, much longer. Uh, we do have more information out there. We talked about, uh, you know, some of the videos that we have. There's also blog posts out there. Of course, reach out to us at any point. We'd be happy to go into greater detail about this. And if you enjoyed this, put it in the comments. We'll have, you know, um, episode part two of link building with me hosting, of course, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. So that'll do it for today. Um, we want to thank you for joining us and tune in next time for our next podcast.